me again. I'm back. Right, today, I'm going to attempt to weld this beautiful piece of steel to the other side of the car to act as a um, act as a towing arm. So yeah, I'm gonna put it there. And I've even bought, check this out, professional what's some argon gas. Hopefully my weld should be less appalling. So um, I don't really have a plan other than to clean this up, clean the underside up, drop a couple of puddle welds in and then seam it round. And then once it's on, when I'm on a track day, I'll just buy one of the wire, steel wire ones, carabiner it on and then attach it to here. And I can be dragged out of gravel easily. Right, clean this up. Clean this up with one of these pads, which I quite like. Problem is, my tank isn't flat, so I'm only going to be able to weld at the edges, along the weld seam, and at the back. Can't weld up here because I don't know how to get the gun in. To be honest, at the back I might be able to. So I'm not entirely confident there'll be enough strength there to pull the car. Um, so yeah, I, I don't know if I should even go ahead with this. Um, so if I did it here, that could work. The thing is, I think a better welder would probably do this. I'm, I don't mean my machine, I mean me. But then, will one... If I put a few tacks there, will it will it work? I don't know. I mean, my, my method is always have a go. What's the worst that could happen? So I suppose I'm going to have to. I've got argon gas, so it's going to work. Of course it will. Okay, well, I've dived in. It's attached, but it's needs to going to go to a pro because I can't get it to weld going up. It, it sounds like a TIG and there's no crackling. Pulled out a bit of um, plate and managed to lay a reasonably nice weld straight off the bat, no problems. Went back up here and it's just charring. I, I, I don't know. I mean, I've never had any training. It, it, it works. Clip the earth on, doesn't work. Um, I, I, I don't know. So it's on there anyway, so I'm just going to tidy it up and then someone is going to have to weld that on properly because it is, it's beyond me. I, I know when I'm defeated and I'm just making it worse. So I don't know, is it because it's galvanised? I don't know, I mean I've got the earth going to here, but yeah, it just... I always heard stories about welding upside down is a right pain in the ass, and I was always like, yeah, whatever. How hard can it be? Oh God, it's really oily. I hate oil leaks. I think oil leaks might be behind me fitting a Z-Tech to this one day. Oh, fuck it, should I just fit a Z-Tech? I mean, a Z-Tech will bolt up to that gearbox. Hmm, I might have, might have just made a decision. Hmm. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to tidy this up so it doesn't look quite so bad. And then I'm going to ask my uncle if he can weld it up for me. Because I, I, I just can't. I can't do it. I can't do it. And here's how we've ended up. It fell off. Um, yeah, basically, it just wasn't sticking. I don't know why. Um, I like to do, let me get underneath. I like to do as much as I can on this car. I like to do all the jobs myself, but I do need to know when a job's beyond me. And yeah, you know, I put loads of welds on and it, it, it just fell off. So it's not sticking to that. It's obviously getting an earth, otherwise it wouldn't be sparking. It just wouldn't do anything, would it? 
but it just wasn't going, it wasn't making the bacon noise. But it doesn't want to go down. And I've got Argon gas. I thought that was my savior. Oh well, um, I'll see what job's next. Right, so it turns out that welding upside down is difficult because the weld pool wants to drop back down rather than going up. Um, so yes, I hadn't considered that and that was what I think is a problem. And as we stand here today, it still isn't attached to the car. So I haven't quite figured out what I'm gonna do about that. I know everyone's been on the edge of their seats awaiting the threaded rod issue. So here we go. I have my clevis and how very nicely made it is as well. Beautiful. And also splashed out on a new clevis pin and retainer. Um, Things that I have noted thus far, and by the way, I am, hang on, I will edit this out. I could possibly do a cut, or I could speed it up. I wonder which one I'll use. Um, let me pull the boot off. Right, so I'm very confident we'll get a solution, and part of the reason is that this rod, although was possibly right for the car in the past, definitely isn't now. And part of the reason for that is if you look at the depth of the ball here, and what I would probably call a shim stroke bracket. Yeah. If I line that up, there, see how much shorter it is. Granted, this one had two circlips, but the circlips aren't particularly thick. They wouldn't take up anything like that. So this was already having to push further just to engage. So I'm actually hoping that I can set this and that will engage the master cylinder rod as much as it needs to. Obviously, AP have designed it and this isn't an off the shelf chobby. They put that in there because that's what it needs. And then what I will do is just bring the clevis out so the, the pedal is hard up against its stop um, at rest and obviously giving the master cylinder enough that it can come back and let all the fluid back when it's hot as well. So yeah, very confident that this will work. Um, get the lovely booty on there. And yeah, I think we'll have a, I think we'll have a great solution. So very, very confident. The only slight problem is the reservoir. Is that going to be good enough? But um, yeah, I'll get this on after work and see how we get along. Right, here we are back at the business end. So, um, hang on. welcome back weary travellers. So, I think I did a video earlier on today just explaining everything should be so i'm just going to clip this back in and then i'll do a bit of um, measuring to see where this needs to be and then uh, i suppose i'm just going to have to grow some big boy pants and chop 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 all right precision chopping done obviously i've left it too long in case i've made a mistake let's see how this gets on mark three so I'm feeling so confident I'm actually going to put the boot on so that when I do get it all done actually no I'll put the boot on afterwards but yeah I'm pretty sure that will work so I'll film it once I've got the clip in. Okay we're nearly there however the um, pedal arm comes down at an angle like that and it's just catching the top here so I am going to have to make a little relief you can see the difference it's not much but yeah i have to just take a little bit off the top <laughs> well that seems to have worked some bloody rods out of the way that goes all the way up nice and loose 
and that pops out. So we'll get that attached. Oh, that's bright. Right, I've got it set so there is just a little bit of play. pedal engages. See it there. I'm hoping that's enough because obviously you don't want it tight. I might just give it one more one more turn. So I think I've discovered that right. There's one thing I've discovered that I was massively loose before, so I don't need to be uber tight. Um, oh god, this is hard. Hang on. So I think that's all right. I'm going to button this up and call it a, well, I'll have to test it, but hopefully that's a job well done. All right, there we go. Got the clip back on. There's play there, so there's end play. I think that should be fine. Got to do the old, the old foot test. If you're on heavy on the brakes, yeah, before I was nowhere near low with the throttle, now I am, even if I'm really leaning on Then there's braking. The problem was when I was braking on Bedford, I was struggling to get over and blip. I don't know, maybe, I mean, that, I don't know. Still get across, I think that'll be okay. Fingers crossed to try and refit this, but it's it's just too big. It's lost all its shape, so it's just going to fall off again. I have bought some grip tape, so I'm going to put that on in the meantime and then order a new pedal rubber because that gives me an extra. I mean, it's it's only a tiny bit, but it it all counts on bringing my foot foot out. So. Yeah, I'll get one of these in, in the post and my seat belts have arrived, but they're at the post office. So I'll get those tomorrow, fit those and then put the video out. Obviously I went for red because I'm a wrong one, but there you go. Nice and grippy, but to be honest, well actually now it's a bit bigger. I wonder if that will just fit over it a bit better. You know what? Not entirely comfortable with that moving around like it is. Although it must have been doing it for ages before I even noticed. Because I don't remember feeling it before it fell off one day. So. I don't know. I'll order one anyway. There we go, all done. Just in case anyone's interested, there is, I hope you can see that, there is the pedal heights. I hope that came out, obviously I couldn't get my head down there. Right, the seat brackets, but while they're, they're out, clean them up. And give them a spray of some black paint. This, I'd rather some solid stuff rather than textured, but I have this on the shelf and it's got to look better than that. Let's see if I can do a quick and dirty job and not totally balls it up.
Right, got the belts in. Um, I didn't get the measurements spot on. They're not bad, but these do sit a little bit high up on the shoulder, whereas ideally they should be a bit lower. It's not a problem, I can always get them changed. The other thing that's become apparent is these um, these bolsters do stop this tightening as it should and they ride up. So I'm going to investigate to see if I can actually make a, a hole for the harnesses to come through. So they really need to be coming through here. So otherwise, when you tighten them down, they just end up pulling up the seat, which isn't good. I've also been doing some painting. Look at this. Oh yeah. And I even did the brackets. I mean, I don't worry, I'm not about to enter a concourse, but look at that. I mean, it's immaculate, isn't it? Very nice. So, how did it drive? Brakes were good. Um, although hard braking, it was pulling to the right, well, it was pulling to the left, and then it leveled itself up eventually. I did have the uh, driver's caliper, not in bits, but nearly apart, so I assume it was just bedding in and also following a bit of camber. Feels okay. Um, car feels so much quieter and goes really well. It's felt great, to be honest felt really good. Pedal, I sort of noticed the first time I pushed it and then didn't really notice it again, so that means it must be good. Starting to get a bit of a groan from the back. I don't know if that's the springs. Um, I know that they have, um, they used to do that before because they, they're so long, they bend in the middle and touch the, um, the body. So it's normal noise, but still a noise I'd like to confirm is those. Other than that, I think we're all good. So we've got couple of weeks maybe three weeks four weeks till the next track day so yeah i'll just continue running it monitoring it but i think we're good to go the new belts um let me see see it's a bit high but other than that they're good but it's this bit here you know, it's my hip lines there so they're coming over and across and they ride up whereas if they were coming out here say there they grip me much tighter, but I mean, I don't know if I'm worrying about, you can see it there, you know, they naturally sit there on the seat. Um, whereas if they came th through a hole, they'd be a lot better, but I don't know if that's a solution I can implement or not. So, um, I suppose that's the end of this video. We are, we're all good touch wood and sorry, if well i everyone got a, a subscriber i didn't delete anyone that was youtube doing that when i hid my account and um to answer the questions no it wasn't youtube banning me for swearing it wasn't my girlfriend for spending too much money on the car it was for other reasons um which i will file under the let sleeping dogs and i um filing bit so uh yes good to be back chaps